These are Leland cypresses planted along a very busy road as a, as a noise protection barrier. And they're, they were very well screened with a lot of dense shrubbery in the background for them. Yet, as you can see, the wind and the snow load took them right over. And this, tr these trees all show some damage. If you can see, they're sort of out of line there. Uh, they have all shown some damage due to the heavy snow load. Probably a better selection for this, this location would be if you switched it to the green giant arborvita. Yet, all throughout the Northeast, the very extensive snows that we had this year will be problematic for nursery stock. So you'll, you'll best choose a tree a little more stable and sturdy than the Leland Cypress. However, if you need a fast-growing tree, the Leland Cypress is the ticket. It grows very fast and is easy to transplant. So if you need some nursery stock, give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. This holly was bent right to the ground and has recovered from the snow load damage from this season. This holly is salvageable. Uh, to determine that it's salvageable, I, I bent it back with my hand to its normal position and it didn't take much to get it there. So the roots probably aren't destroyed and it will recover. And the other factor that you would look at is you can see that there's not much discoloration of leaves. If the leaves had started to discolor at this time of the year, after this winter, uh, you, would, you would suspect that there is heavier snow load damage due to, due to the root zone being damaged from being pulled over as hard as it was. So uh, if you do have questions about your nursery stock that was damaged in snow or wind, you can email us a picture and we'll give you an estimate of what we think you should do, whether you should take it out or, or, or how to fix it if it should be fixed. Uh, we don't mind doing that for customers because we realize you know, not every tree needs to be replaced. So just give us a call at 215-651-8329 and we'll try and help you out with your nursery problems. Thank you. This is an eastern redbud that suffered snow load damage. You could cut off the bad section of tree, but this tree will always be marred with a bad scar. So I would suggest that a tree that has a bit damage this severe should be pruned out. Now you might be able to cut it off right about the two foot level, seal it with some wood sealant, and it may grow new shoots out the side. That's always a possibility if you're economically minded as I am. That's probably what I will do. So if you need help on your nursery stock or have questions about trees or shrubs, feel free to email us at bill at digatree.com or stop into our store and, and nursery or just give us a phone call at 215-651-8329. Bye-bye. Hello, my name is Mike Hurst from Highland Hill Farm. I'm in charge of growing a door for Alberta spruces. And one of the things we're going to go over today is how to fertilize a dwarf Alberta spruce. This right here is an example of a dwarf Alberta spruce. And before we do any fertilizer, we have to identify what kind of plant this is. This is actually considered to be a determinate plant because it is grown by buds. Buds are preformed stem and leaf parts formed this year to expand and become the new needles of next year. So if you want good growth for next year, you have to fertilize this year for the growth for the new parts to form in the bud. Once the bud is formed, it does not produce any more needles or any more stems. What it does is that when it emerges, all the preformed cell parts only enlarge. So all this new growth from this year was actually formed in the previous year's bud. And during this growth year, it just expanded and got larger. With this knowledge in hand, when we go to fertilize these, we want to fertilize these when the buds are forming or before the buds are forming. So that way the fertilizer gets into the system of the plant and the plant thinks, oh, this is a great growing season. We're going to make lots of extra needles and lots of extra buds for next year. Not really buds, but more or less needles. So when we fertilize this, we fertilize right before the buds are formed. And these guys, the buds form about a little bit late August, somewhere in September. That's when the buds are formed. So we want to fertilize before that. So we do like a June, July, sometime in August 
just so the buds get the fertilizer for next year. So when we put the fertilizer down, that affects the system. The system thinks it's a good year, and in turn, in, when it makes its buds, those buds are formed with extra stem parts, which is very important. For other things when fertilizing, you can fertilize for color, but color is not that important when you're thinking about the size and growing for speed. So you can put fertilizer down and green it up, but usually it's more important to hit it right before the buds, like a month before the buds form for next year's growth. Uh, other things that are important besides just fertilizing is making sure you have enough water, because water usually has a greater effect on and growth than does fertilizer. Uh, with this information, we can go around and fertilize just about any other types of plants that you need. And if you have any questions on Pacific plants, please give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. We also sell a lot of arborvitas and trees such as river birches and many other types of shade, flowering, and wetland trees and shrubs. You can come to our nursery and pick out the tree that you want, or we have trees already pre-dug. It's easier for us in the springtime to, to get you your tree selection if you take what's pre-dug. But in the winter months, we do allow tagging of trees for, for digging. We sell a lot of potted stock, which is very easy to plant, three and four foot high in height. We deliver and plant from Boston to North Carolina and all the way into Ohio. We have three different trucks on the road, making deliveries to Northeast United States locations. Give us a call at 215-651-8329 for your trees and shrubs or landscape advice. Thank you. Thank you.